Hello, fifth primary students. A quick review on the math topics that will be covered or included in your monthly exam. Let's answer the questions together. Choose the correct answer. The first question, 3 minus 7, does it belong to or does not belong to or subset or not subset from n? We said before in subtraction, um, not all the answers are whole numbers, so not all the answers are included in n. So if you look carefully here, the first number, the 3, is smaller than 7, then the answer will not be a whole number. So in this case, it does not belong to n. The second question, 45 minus 35. In this one, the first number is bigger than the second number, so the answer will be 10, which is a whole number. So, of course, it belongs to n. Okay? Now, question 3. The set of even numbers. As we said before, the set of even numbers, 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on. It's an infinite set. And, of course, it is a part of n. So, since it's, it is a relation between two sets, then I will use either subset or not subset. And in this case, it is subset. Now, question 4. The set of elements 1, 2, and 3. Again, a relation between two sets. The set of elements 1, 2, and 3, and the set of prime numbers. I want to know if the first set is a part of the second set or no. Of course, we know that uh, the element 1, it's neither a prime number nor a composite one. So it's not a part of the set of prime numbers. So this set is not subset of the set of prime numbers. Okay, now question five. We have a parallelogram, and I want to know the area of this parallelogram. My choices are 18, 13, 36, and 26. And of course, we remember the rule of the area of a parallelogram. It is base times height. Okay, so it will be 4 times 9 or 9 times 4, which is 36 centimeters squared. Then my answer is letter C, the 36 centimeters squared. Okay, question six, the set of the element zero, is it a part of the counting, the set of counting numbers or no? Of course, we learned at the beginning of this semester that the element zero, it's not a part of the counting uh, set or the set of counting numbers, but it is a part of the set of natural numbers. So in this case, it is not subset of the set of counting numbers. Number seven, the area of the opposite triangle. I want to know the area of the triangle, and I have these four choices. If you remember, the rule of finding the area of a triangle is half base times height. So it will be half times eight times four, which is 16 centimeters squared. So my answer will be letter A, the 16 centimeters squared. Now model 2. Here, choose the correct answer. The first one, the set of elements 5 and 8 intersects 4 and 9 in phi, because we have no common elements here. And phi is a subset of every set. So the answer here is letter C, which is subset. Now the second question, 5 plus 8 5, without even finding the answer. I have a decimal number here, so decimal numbers and fractions are not a part of n, so it does not belong to n. Now, question 3. 28,727 minus 9,543. The first number is bigger than the second number, then it is possible to um, make our operation. So, in this case, the answer will be uh, belong to n. Now question 4 here, I have um, a number line and some dots are uh, on my number line and it's infinite as you see the red arrow show me that the answer is infinite or this set is infinite. So here I want to know is this a set of even numbers or a set of odd numbers or a set of prime numbers? As you see, the first dot is on the 5, the second on 7, the third on 9, the last one is on 11 and so on. So here uh, it is the set of odd numbers. 
The answer will be letter B. Question 5. The subtraction in natural numbers is commutative, not closed, associative. As we said before, the subtraction in N, it is not closed under uh, N. It is not commutative, it is not associative, it has no neutral identity. So in this case, the answer will be letter B, not closed. Area of a triangle, again, we said uh, in the last model that the area of a triangle is half base times height. So the answer will be letter A. The last question here, a parallelogram of area 63 centimeters squared and the length of its base is 7 centimeters. The corresponding height of this base is, of course, I will get the area rule. So the rule of the parallelogram or the area of a parallelogram is A equal base times height. Then the height I am looking for will be area over base. My area is 63 and my base is 7. So it will be 63 over 7, which is 9 centimeters. Then my choice will be letter D, 9 centimeters. I hope that what we have discussed now uh, was of a great help to you. Study well and good luck in your exams. See you.